Okay, here is an unboxing video, but I already took it out of the box. <laughs> so, I had to look at it, but I want to go over the instructions. And what it is, um, incubator. Now, when I ordered it off of Amazon, there wasn't very much information. But now when you order it on Amazon, there is a lot of information. Um, give me a little bit here. But you can find it and look or pause and read here. A lot of good information. When I finally ordered one. I didn't know this one came with a light, the candle, the eggs, no information on it. I just kind of see a little blurb, but it was a little bit cheaper. About $20 cheaper. So, $84 on Amazon. And then, here's a bit of the information here. It's a little hard to read if your uh, eyes aren't that good like mine, so kind of blowing it up here. And having it on video might help. So, comes with pretty good instructions and there's the front page. There we go. Oh yeah, lots of instructions. I'm not reading them out loud. If you guys want to read them, then you can pause and read. Or, there is lots of information on Amazon about it. Now, right over here. How to set all your dial. All your codes. That's pretty good instructions. Yeah, nothing on the back. Uh, usually, Canadian instructions come with uh, a French, but this has no uh, French, just so you know. You might be able to get that on Amazon. I'm not sure how that works with French. Um, okay, let's open this thing up. I'm going to read the, more, the instructions more later before I actually do it. Get that out of the way. Careful. 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 That's me right beside me. Okay. Here's our lid. It's nice and protected and styrofoam here. You got your power cord. Then a sponge that protects, uh, so when you fill these chambers up, there's one, two, three, four spots you can put water. Now, they say you can hatch quail to, like, a duck egg in here. That's why I got it. I eventually might still want quail. Um, but there's a video, I'll try to link it in my description, where they hatched quail, and one of the little quail drowned it in there before they can get it out. So, you might want to put a little stone, like, in there, a little pebble. Pebbles or something to prevent them from accidentally drowning in there, especially if you have quail. They can be small and a little bit weak. You might not be able to pull their head out very good. So, there's instructions and all that. I had to plug it in to show you guys that there be a trick here. So, when that little flashlight button, you can light up the incubator. But, my chicken eggs are way too dark for it. The turkey eggs are okay. But, I had to pick nine out of my dozen to put in the incubator. And, by day five, I'll know if they're good eggs or not. Um, 
so I might be able to switch them out, but I don't think that's a good idea either, but we'll see how it goes. Might have to switch them out and put new ones in, and they're only like a week, under two weeks old, so you might have them hatching at different times. What I really need to start doing is marking them when I pick them up, so which day, and then I know when I did it. But I like in this little incubator here. Um, the temperature wasn't that hard to set. Um, you read the instructions down here, and it tells you to hold it to reset it back to one degree Celsius, and then you can let it go up, and then you hold that or press it, and it sets it. You read all that in the instructions right here. It wasn't too hard for me to figure out how to keep it around. I think they said 29. It's going up. So I'm, yeah, 38. That's good. And it's 30. So it still has some catch up. When I put the eggs in, it lost the temperature. So it'll come back up and stay at 38. It should be. But I'm going to have a, I'm going to keep an eye on it anyway. And you don't keep the light on all the time. They don't need a light. So you're supposed to check them at day five when uh, they start growing. And day five it has right here that you shouldn't be able to see the air bubble. Okay, day three, not too much. There's day six. And they eight, and they ten, and they fifteen, and they nineteen. So you can handle them by day, and you don't have to take them out. I like that a lot. So, and there's also a cleanable tray. I'll show you that. It's, recomm it's recommended to unplug it before you take that lid off. And then you won't have it leaping at you and do what you need to do and put them back. Because there's no egg turner, we have to turn them a little bit every couple times a day. Just like turn them a little bit, that's all. Pointy end down, like you did when you stored them, to go into the incubator to have enough, pointy end down. And the tray. It's hard to see with the egg in here, but there's a little plastic tray that you take that right out, right there. See that? And you can wash it and put it back in. Because you can't wash it under there where the light is. See that? So they put a tray on there so you can wash them. Wash the tray. I need to put water in here too and get it all set back up. So, thank you. I'll be back in a minute. Thanks, Jan Nara, for uh, pointing out that look for one with a cleanable tray. Because the brooder gets all nasty and you can't clean it, or incubator gets all nasty and you can't clean it, then bacteria can get into the eggs and make them no good anymore. So you want to keep things clean. And that's a good way to do it, a removable tray. Okay. I don't think it's recommended that you put water in there, but I watched a video, and they like to put water in there to keep the humidity up in this one. But all you're supposed to do is put water on that sponge and put it in there, not like fill it with water on here. Take this out, put it in the water, put it back in here. And that was not enough for humidity when they were checking this one out. So they put a little bit of water in there, but you want to make sure you don't get it in there. That's why this little tray comes up a little bit to protect it against moisture. You don't want moisture going down underneath that. And you're supposed to bring it in temperature and then put the eggs in. So I'm going to take them out, plug it back in, bring it up, put them back in, and then it'll be all ready to go. 
and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so we'll figure out the next steps from here. <laughs> Much love. Okay, tonight, man, tonight's day, how bad I am at uh, programming. <laughs> up, up, up. It's low temperature, but it's climbing, so it keeps... Unplug it before you open that thing. <laughs> that one's working. Much love. <laughs>